do you do? I'm Karen Branham. I'm a wood carver. <laughs> I typically do relief carvings, which is just the um, where you carve just a little bit down and the image pops out at you. Um, I have done a couple things which are in the round, they call it, or 3D. Um, but typically I like to just do the relief stuff and I use um, traditional wood gouges, um, hand tools. And I also use some power tools. Um, I got interested in wood carving when my kids were very little. I have two boys that are nine and six right now. But when they were babies, I wanted something that I could do um, when they were playing in the house or if they were taking a nap, <laughs> something that I could do quietly while they were napping or... Um, and I tried a bunch of things, a bunch of different things, but wood carving is what stuck. And um, I found it um, while we were watching YouTube. We, we would watch like uh, Wood Whisperer, um, Rob Kosman, Paul Sellers, people like that. And, and one day um, this lady Mary May popped up and she's a great wood carver. And she has a bunch of videos about how to get started. And um, I thought, hey, why don't I try that? Plus, I have a very talented husband who's a woodworker and he helps me out with a lot of my stuff, finishing the edges or adding a frame or, you know, planing it down the way I needed. So my favorite part of the process is to finally do the detail work. Uh, when I start, I start with a blank like this and I usually draw <clears throat> from uh, a drawing that I've done. I'll, I'll use my carbon paper and I'll copy it onto here. And then at a stage, I will cut uh, out around my uh, drawing. And, and then I finally get to a point like this where I can do the detail work. Um, and that's my favorite part, is when I get to put in the details and you start seeing the actual final product. My inspiration is horses. <laughs> um, I do a lot of horses. Um, I just find that horses are, um, I love them since I was a little girl. And uh, there's just something magical about um, connecting with a, an animal that's eight or 10 times your size. <laughs> so, but I, I have also done a lot of other things to try to um, just, vary up my techniques. I've done a lot of commission pieces and those have been horses too for people who have them. This was my first piece and from Mary May I've always been told to save your first piece. So that is one of my favorite ones. Um, I see myself in the future <laughs> carving out more time <laughs> uh, for my artwork. Um, just being able to maybe do some bigger pieces. Um, I found some different ways that I could do it a little bit faster and um, easier on the hands. Subscribe to the channel Art Stories and you will be entered to win this piece peekaboo and see my story.